it's a common American myth that the Americans won the revolution because they had superior tactics, that they fought like backwoodsmen, whereas the British fought using foolish, antiquated European linear tactics, and that these were ill-suited for North America. But if you closely examine most of the tactical engagements, the British win most of them. And throughout the war, Americans suffer under a pretty grave military disadvantage when it comes to ground-based military capabilities. An advantage that the Americans have, however, is the militia. George Washington did not think the militia was a very reliable component of his military force structure, but what he did appreciate about it was that it was more than adequate for the purposes of local defense. You might look upon the militia as being the antibodies or white blood cells of the revolution. Anywhere that British forces made an intrusion, the militia would rise up in, and blunt it, defeat it, and send it back whence it came. This enabled George Washington to reserve and marshal the combat power of the Continental Army, the most regular and the most capable part of the American military establishment during the Revolution, for what he liked to call brilliant strokes, offensive actions designed to defeat the British Army in the field and drain Parliament and the King of the will and resolve to continue this war. So these two components together, the militia and the Continental Army, were together able to mitigate some of the weaknesses the United States had as a military power.